Uh, my English name is Jack. <laughs> and my Kurdish name is uh, Shoresh. I was learning about the civil war in Syria uh, for six months uh, on the internet. And when the terrorists Daesh, uh, attacked Rojava and started attacking the Kurds, uh, I decided that I wanted to come and join them uh, and join the Yepige in their fight against them. Uh, before, only heard about them because they were fighting. Um, and now I'm here. Um, the Yepige is very good. Uh, the people are very nice, very welcoming. Uh, for uh, maybe one month, uh, we were not fighting. And um, me and the other Westerners in our group thought that maybe we wouldn't fight. So people were, their morale was going down. Um, but then we started to fight. Um, and that's what we came here for. So as long as we keep fighting, we will stay. Uh, Yepage is very good. Um, the women, if they are willing to fight, then there's no reason why they shouldn't be equal to the men in every way. It's very good. I think uh, even outside of the Yepage in this town here, um, everyone you meet is very friendly um, and they welcome you as if you are someone in their family. I think the, the Kurdish culture, in the way that you say, is very good, it's very refreshing. Um, it's very different from the rest of the world where people are very distant and there's not so much of a community where everyone knows each other, everyone cares about each other. Uh, I think the rest of the world could definitely learn a lot from this culture um, and take a lot from it. Uh, it was very uh, troubling uh, when Kobani started um, and the rest of Rojava was attacked because in the West all you he heard about was Kobani and nowhere else. Um, so I think the rest of the world, especially the governments, need to send people here um, and see what it's like and see that we need to be helping these people in every way we can, um, especially in Rojava. And there's a lot of things that governments everywhere could do here uh, to assist them. Um, anyone watching this uh, who's not from Kurdistan, hello. <laughs> um, I hope that this interview um, and other Westerners uh, coming here doing interviews will help to spread the message of what's going on here.